Welcome! Today we're going to create some magical dashboards in Grafana with data from our iPhone, MacBook or Apple Watch. As you can see, I'm now a Katuna. This is because I've been out on the water and I forgot to use sunscreen, so my face is totally red. So then I just turned myself into a cartoon. Let's begin. First and foremost, congratulations all Apple device users. You are now able to pull more Wi-Fi details quite easily directly from your iPhone or MacBook or Apple Watch. Just take a look at this for example. Here you have a shortcut that is made to pull a lot of Wi-Fi details directly from your iPhone. Or what about an Apple Watch? Wouldn't it be cool to send this information to a data collector and create the beautiful dashboard I showed you in the beginning? You can automate it to run a hundred times in a row so you get uh, live data. You can automate it when you join a specific SSID. Let's begin and see how we can do that by first looking at InfluxDB and Grafana. First thing you do is to navigate to InfluxDB Cloud or InfluxDB. Uh, InfluxDB is a time series database. Uh, in this video example, we're going to use the cloud version. You can also install a local instance on a Raspberry Pi, for example, or an Intel Loop. Uh, the free version does have some limitations. We're going to take a look at that now. So you just scroll down on this page and you see it's free, of course, and we have some scale limitations. For example, we only have two buckets and uh, it's not so much data, but enough for our use. And you also have end-to-end -end encryption. Cool. So you sign up here, sign up now. And you fill in your name, last name, email, password, and create an account. And once you've done that, you navigate to Grafana. And here we have Grafana, the truly useful free plan forever. Uh, I, I'm thinking about maybe use Prometheus, uh, since uh, it looks like I can use only Grafana for all the data collecting and to visualize the data. But in this example, we are going to use InfluxDB, since I'm most familiar with InfluxDB. And also here, you're going to create an account by pressing this button. And you fill in your email and your password. And then you create your account. Now, we're going to see how we configure um, InfluxDB into Grafana to show all the settings that we need. Once you have registered for your free InfluxDB account, you will be shown this view. Here we have the resource center. Here you can do things like manage database security, add data, query data, and visualize the data. The first thing we have to do is to create a bucket or a database. And then we press this button and we go to database manager, go to go to buckets. And since I've already created two buckets, since two buckets is the maximum allowed in the free version, I think I'm just going to show the settings for my bucket. For example, the Apple shortcut guest bucket. I press the settings, uh, put the retention to 30 days, the maximum allowed, nothing interesting there. And we give it a name. Remember this name, we need this later. Press console here, since I already have uh, two buckets. And then we go to API tokens. Here we generate a new API token, a custom API token. Press this one. And then we give it a name or description. Name, uh, name. And then we give it read and write access to just this bucket the guest bucket, and then we press generate. And then we copy this because when you close it, you won't see it anymore. And sorry, you can't use this bucket 
after you've seen this video because I'm going to delete it. Now, the next thing we have to do is to take a look at the settings for Grafana. So here we have Grafana and we navigate to the burger menu and we go down to administration and we go to data source. And then we're going to create a new data source, uh, add new, you add an influx DB data source, but I'm going to look at the settings for my data source, this one. I'm going to open this one up and I've give it a name, influx DB cloud. I'm going to use a flux query language. This is the URL. Uh, we have where my uh, influx DB instance is hosted. We're going to press on basic auth. Uh, add your email. This is actually the email you use to register your Grafana account, your password and your email, right? So I've used a private relay email for my setup. Uh, we're going to add in the organization from InfluxDB. Token. Here, it's important to write token, space, then token, right? And then we add our default bucket and then save and test. So it found four buckets, two free buckets and two standard buckets. And uh, yeah, that's it. Now we're gonna take a look at how we configure uh, our shortcut to send data to this bucket so we can start visualizing the data. And here we have the Apple shortcut app. I'm gonna use my MacBook since that is a bit easier. We get a bigger screen. We're going to edit this shortcut and now we're going to use some variables. We'll get network details. We can choose Wi-Fi and we can get network name, basis ID, Wi-Fi standard, RX, TX, RCC, noise, channel number, and hardware MAC address. So we can pull all this information from our phone uh, and we need to set a variable to it because if you're going to pull this uh, information later in the shortcut, everything will be just in, uh, named network details. So we need to set a variable for each one. So you see everything is connected from basis ID, RCC is connected to a variable RCC, channel number is connected to a variable channel, and so forth. So here we see the entire shortcut. Again, you can download this shortcut from my blog. Here I created a dictionary, I created a token text and a value. This is a token you have in InfluxDB. Uh, account and then I'm going to retrieve this value API token dictionary and uh, here is that value I'm going to set a variable to that one from the dictionary value so now we have a variable for the token and now we have retrieved all the variables that we want then we're going to use a combine so we're going to create a text a comma separated uh, text here so first the data uh, is like the folder where everything is stored. Uh, Apple device is all the tags. If you have multiple devices, for example, uh, then you can use a MAC address to give a tag. So every single client will uh, uh, will have their own like RSC noise for all these those variables, right? So you can have like a drop down menu in Grafana and sh and see uh, the all the details and variables for each separate client. You can set this to a static value, for example, iPhone, if you don't want to send the Mac address to the cloud, and then use a get contents of. So here you have the cloud URL you found in uh, your InfluxDB account or in the URL. I can show that here. You find it here. And then you need to add the bucket here. That's the bucket name and your organization ID. And this should be a post and you add a few headers, a content type, and you add this. Uh, remember, you can just download this shortcut authorization token space token from the variable. And then you add this sentence application JSON and accept. And then you request file and you pull the combined text here. And then you can add a repeat function, so it runs the shortcut again. Wait one second, I run it again, and then you can run it as many times as you want. You just you just 
add more values here. You can up it from 10, 100, uh, 1000, as much as you want. And when you're done with that, you can press play to check if the shortcut is working. And if it's working, you will be able to find the data in your InfluxDB account. Here we're back at InfluxDB. We're going to go to Data Explorer. Uh, and then we're going to see if we receive the data. We're going to choose the bucket. And here we see I've received something. I go to data and we see we have received all these variables, correct? And my tag value here, I use a static tag iPhone. And here to write it uh, something called flight SQL. Uh, in my dashboard, I've used Flux. So I don't know how you can change the view in InfluxDB Cloud from flight SQL to Flux. Uh, but don't worry. I have everything ready for you in Grafana. So we're going to take a look uh, now on how we create uh, a dashboard. So we're going to open up my dashboard. We're just going to take a look at the one I have now. Uh, there's nothing here now. So I need to go see some old data uh, that I found here. And then I'm just going to zoom in a little bit to look at uh, RSSE. And look at that here. We're going to open uh, this one where we show RSSE and noise. Uh, press edit. And here you see my query, uh, my flux query. It's quite easy. I have just write from bucket. That's the bucket name, Apple shortcut. I have a range function. Uh, this is just a, a time range. So we can use the time range in Grafana here. Uh, I have a measurements. That's data measurement. Uh, our fields, RSC and noise, and iPhone equaled. This is, I've used a tag here. So if I have multiple clients, I'm pull, I can create this variable up here to uh, have a drop down menu with several clients, uh, or else you can just use a static value, right? And the same thing for uh, data rates, args and TX. I'll open this one up. We see it's almost exactly the same. The only thing I changed here is the two different fields, Rx and Tx, right? Uh, so uh, you can just copy and paste them uh, back and forth. Uh, same thing with this one. This is the same thing at, as RCC and SNR. The only thing here, I use a stat table instead of a time series to get the last value. Uh, same here with the standard. Here, I, I just pulled the standard. And here we had the BSS ID. Uh, last BSS ID was joined to. Uh, since I already know uh, what access point this is, I can go down here and add a value mapping. Uh, so I can paste in the MAC address of the uh, BSS ID. Or I can use regex uh, because there can be multiple uh, uh, BSS IDs. I uh, just had to put this one here. And now, then the last one, roaming panel. This one is quite cool. Here I used something called a state timeline uh, where we can see all roaming events for the client. We don't have roam reason here yet, but we do have channel, SSID, basis ID, standard, uh, etc. And this one's the same thing. I just use a lot of uh, or um, options here to add all the values that I want. It, so it has to look like this, right? And the same tag. And again, here I used the state timeline. So I always loved uh, this panel uh, because it's really cool to see the RSC and noise level, for example, and TX RX for when the client roamed. Now we're going to take a look at how we can change uh, the panels to make it look like this. Maybe we want to add average, uh, for example, down below, since I have minimum, max, and uh, the lowest value. So I can add mean, there's an average. Now I get average here. Uh, I can uh, make the lines thicker and add some fill opacity. Um, here can get bars. Here you can just go crazy, have fun, just play around, change the colors, um, connect zero values. Uh, here you can just play around. You don't have to make the dashboard look exactly like my dashboard. Uh, 
is important there to add DBM values, of course. You can add things like field mappings here. You can um, uh, create different colors, like shoes are different colors, so it looks different. Uh, again, just have some fun, how it looks like this. Um, yeah, I think uh, that's it. Uh, okay, of course, here's the variable uh, you need to make. Uh, go here, general variable, and then you give a variable name, Apple device. Uh, here I import the schema, and I write this sentence schema, and I pull up all the tag values, tag iPhone, and when I test this one, I will receive all the different keys or tags if I use the shortcut for multiple devices. So this is important. Uh, well, I think I will upload uh, this dashboard somewhere so you don't have to do everything with this manually. Uh, just remember, this is how it looks. You can copy it from my blog. Uh, there I have pasted some of the configuration uh, for this. So I think that's it for now. Now I need to turn myself into a human again. Uh, and hopefully I will not look like a strawberry uh, so much anymore. So, thank you, and goodbye. Well, are you ready, Hugo, to be turned into a human again? Just give me a few seconds, and I'm gonna fix it. Abracadabra.